days of so much hair pulling and gnashing of teeth. Here we are celebrating the King's acquisition of multiple time all-star, future Hall of Famer, DeMarta Rosen. I'm still having a hard time wrapping my brain around it, Drapes. Didn't see it coming. Multiple time all-star, Hall of Famer. Yeah. First ballot Hall of Famer. King of the fall. 23,000 points wow. in the NBA for his career. This is an amazing day. As TR just said, and I'm going to give you your credit, TR. It's officially DeMar DeRozan Day in Sacramento. What do you think of the video yeah. with him and uh, uh, Vivek? Vivek? I was going to like just us. say, <laughs> if you don't follow Vivek on social, on Instagram or Twitter, slash X, go check it out. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Mm -hmm. it, it was funny. It was. <laughs> I love it back. He, he's trying to be cool, but uh, I, I'm glad Demar got a laugh at, at it. Check it out right there. Our next guest, hopefully, is staying cool, which is mm -hmm. not easy these days. If anybody can do it, he can. King's icon, the one and only Jerry Reynolds. How are you today, Jerry? Did you have a good holiday? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Well, yeah. geez, I Jerry. apologize for bringing oh, it up. I'm sorry I brought that up, Jerry. Yeah, well, okay. We'll, we'll let it pass. Let's move <laughs> on here. <Let's> <laughs> How about uh, DeMar DeRozan's fit here? Do you, do you see it as uh, as being a good one for the Kings? I love it. I love it. I mean, I, I think the guy's terrific. You know, he's a baller. You know, one of those guys that uh, can get you – you know, he's like, I mean, they, they just added a second crunch time player. That's what yeah. they did, a big-time crunch time guy that that can get to the line, which is we, we all know that they don't get to the line enough. He will. He'll get there, and he makes free throws. That's another outstanding quality. <laughs> uh, and then, the, and I think really an underrated thing that he does, you know, he's going to get help get the Kings into, into the uh, – uh, uh, bonus a lot quicker. Mm, yeah. You know, the, I mean, Kings spent too much time never getting in the bonus because he couldn't draw fouls. So he, he'll, uh, he'll help him get there. And that, that's significant. Our guy, Jerry Reynolds joining us here. Hey, Jerry, we, when you look at, you know, what this signifies for the organization, the city, you know, you know, some people, including myself saying the best free agent signing uh, in the Sacramento era, uh, what say you and what does this mean uh, for where this franchise is right now? Well, I, I don't – to me, it's a, a sign and trade, so it's not really a free agent mm -hmm. but because uh, you gave up assets. Uh, but it's a great – it's the best sign and trade that mm -hmm. the Kings have ever made. It moves ahead of the Brad Miller uh, sign and trade of some years ago. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'll still say the best free agent. Uh, signing was uh, Vladi Divas mm -hmm. because you know you got you got Vladi and you gave up nothing, uh -huh. yeah, but money, <laughs> and so so there's a difference. But uh, but it's a great you know Monty and his staff did a great job. I mean, uh, Demar's got a legitimate chance at Hall of Fame, and that's a level player that he is. And and I thought last year that he had about as good a year as he's ever had. So there's there's plenty left in the tank. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, uh, he's a he's a you know, people say, well, he's 34. Well, yeah, he's 34, but he's really good. That's better than 24 not being very right. good. <laughs> uh, Jerry, I, I know you're shy about this type of thing. I got to give you some credit here uh, because when we first started talking about, you know, who might the Kings acquire, I wasn't thinking DeMar DeRozan at all, but I was reminded of last season at the deadline. I think you were on this show and you said, you know, I think a guy like DeMar DeRozan would be a real good fit here. Um, you know, if you could get him, if the Bulls are looking to move him, didn't happen then, but it happens now. So you kind of foresaw that, what a good fit he would be for them, didn't you? Yeah, I'm pretty amazing, aren't I? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, he's, uh, I mean, really, I, I, I think, you know, you're, you know, we all hope that maybe they can get another player, maybe with size, yeah. but even if they don't, one thing I think it clearly does, it, it gives them a chance to be better offensively than they were even mm -hmm. a season, season ago or two seasons ago when they were third, it, it, you know, it had the best offense in the league because mm -hmm. the, they really can uh, put some firepower out there. But they, you know, they could be, they'd be small, but they would still, if you can go score 125 every night, uh, 
you, you know, you still win because the other team have a tough time getting that many. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, so I, I like, uh, you know, having Monk back, of course, and DeRozan and, of course, Fox and, and, and Domas. I mean, you, you've got some guy, Keegan's, uh, I mean, you could put a starting lineup out there. It wouldn't be real mm-hmm. big, but probably with, you know, with Domas, you're still going to get enough rebounds. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can really be hard to guard. Yeah, you're right about that, Jerry Reynolds. Joining us, Jerry, how do you uh, think uh, Demar impacts the offense in terms of you know scheme and what we draw up? Does he open up the playbook even more? Uh, would you say how much will we have to adjust what we do to fit him in? Well, I think there'll be a little adjustment. I I think we're the Kings are lucky they got you know Domas and Fox, two main guys that are unselfish guys, and uh, and I think with with the uh, not, and not that Demar's never been a, a selfish guy, but he's 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 good without the ball. Now he he'll dribble it for you too, and create shots. But but he can move without the ball. And I, I think he'll uh, fit nicely. I mean, people uh, questioned his three point shooting, but that's gotten much better in the last few years. And certainly, even right now, I think he's an excellent three point shooter from the corner. Which of course anybody. Mm-hmm just about anybody is, but, but he'll get those shots with the Kings. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't think there'll be, uh, I think he'll be easy to fit in because he's highly skilled. And, and I think the most important thing is in close games in the NBA down the stretch and last six minutes, which uh, you guys know as well as me, that that's about 70% of every game. Uh, you've got another guy that can go get baskets. Mm-hmm. Jerry, you have um, another thing you've taught us about basketball is that as long as you score more points than the other team, you're you're in good shape. That said, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that said, yeah. I mean, did the offense get better here? But the defense um, is going to take a few steps back. No, no, it it probably stayed about the same. Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, you know, I mean, I think uh, Demar's is not what you call a stopper, but then really Harrison really wasn't either. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I think, you know, Harrison might could have matched up on some bigger guys easier, but overall, I no, I think it's pretty much the same. And when you really look at it, the team was a better defensive team at the end of the year anyway, because of other factors. So, uh, yeah, probably about the same. Okay. I, I don't, okay. yeah, I think about the same. And as you said, it's a, it's a scoreboard. It's not a guard board. <laughs> that's true you got to score points uh to win uh jerry how, how do you think this impacts uh the standings in the west uh you know are we top 16 uh does it move us up that much what do you think i do i think it puts us in the top six i really do now might even hope for more but but it's hard to 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 say okay now we've, we've caught oklahoma city and minnesota and dallas and, mm-hmm. and uh in Denver, I, I don't believe. I believe those teams would still be feeling pretty comfortably ahead, but but I think it gives you know gives you a legitimate chance to maybe even get to five. Mm-hmm. One of the things that concerns me, Jerry, is when you look at um, what some of the other teams in the West can do, like Minnesota last year with two bigs, Oklahoma City now has two bigs. Uh, and the Kings seem to be getting a little smaller. Obviously, as you say, if you're scoring and you're still rebounding, it doesn't matter. But are the Kings, as you said, they're kind of small now. Is that something they need to address? Are the Kings right now maybe a little too small? Well, I think they are, to be honest. I mean, they could certainly use more size. Another, you know, obviously power forward center type uh, yeah, yeah. would be ideal. I mean, I think that would, would give them a chance to really compete with any of those teams. And, uh, but I think that would be the question I would have because with the current lineup, I mean, I think you can win uh, smaller like they are, but you're, you're going to have to do it, you know, pressure defense picking up. You're going to have to play, you know, really stretch the game out, get it off the board. And, uh, uh, and I don't know, you know, just, just, you know, you just can't know that you can play that way all the time. All right, uh, Jerry, uh, my final question for you. Uh, how do you think this uh, move impacts DeMontis Sabonis. I, I, I think, you know, we may even see a better version of Domas where he doesn't have to carry the scoring load and be expected to get more than, than you know, the 18, 19, 20. What do you, how do you think this impacts him? Well, you know, I, I couldn't agree more, Kyle. I, I, I thought that. I mean, I think what will happen 
you know, with a, a great scorer like uh, DeMar, and then, you know, you're hoping Keegan gets a little better. And, and of course, we know Domus doesn't really care about it. I think instead of him getting 20 points on 13 shots, I, I can see him getting 17 on 10. <laughs> you know, yeah, uh-huh. and get, getting 10 or 11 assists. I mean, I think that is him at his best, you know, really finding scores. And he's got one more guy to find. And uh, so, I, I like I say, I've never thought you really put the value of Sabonis based on how many points he scores. That's mm-hmm. kind of th- third on the list, really. Mm-hmm. And, Jerry, before we let you go, what do you think of uh, the fit for HB with the Spurs? And, you know, you were covering the team when he first got here. Um, how are you going to remember Harrison Barnes and the contributions he made to the city and the team? Well, total class, total pro, uh, pros pro. There's never been his whole career says that. And, and uh, again, you know, miss, doesn't miss games. Mm-hmm. Takes a lot of pride in, in uh, trotting out there. And, and, of course, that's another thing about uh, DeMar. He, yeah. he sh- shows up and plays games, much like I think uh, – you know, this this franchise has done a great job of putting together guys who, unless they're really bad hurt, will trot out there and play, which is a very strange concept in the <laughs> NBA yeah. anymore. Today's NBA, yeah. You think he'll be a good fit for uh, Pop in San Antonio? Oh, oh, he'd be a great fit. And uh, uh, absolutely. It's a great break for him, uh, you know, and I think Pop will figure out a way to, to get even more mileage out of him. But uh, and, and with Wembanyama. Chris Paul there actually uh, scares me a little. Uh, they're yeah. going to be significantly better, and, and, and Harrison will be part of that. And, you know, if you can't wish Harrison Barnes well, you're just pretty sorry person, that's all. <laughs> Coach, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Hope to talk to you again soon. I'll be in touch, sir. Can't wait, guys. All Take right. Care. Thank okay. you. The one and only Jerry Reynolds likes the fit. Yeah, he said – Last season, why well, I take a look on at DeMar DeRozan, huh? right? Like, what? Well, I hadn't thought of that. Right from his there lips to Monty's ears. Yeah, huh? okay. uh, we're coming right back with why I'd rather do a trade with Monty McNair than Danny Ainge as our celebration of DeMar DeRozan rolls on here on Sacktown Sports.